नेक्स्ट सेट इन ए कॉलेज ए बी सी ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स प्ले एटलीस्ट वन ऑफ द थ्री गेम्स एमॉन्ग फुटबॉल वॉलीबॉल एंड हॉकी फोर्टी फोर परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स प्ले फुटबॉल थर्टी एट परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स प्ले वॉलीबॉल फिफ्टी टू परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स प्ले हॉकी नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु प्ले एनी टू ऑफ द थ्री गेम्स आर इक्वल वाइल थर्टी सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स प्ले ऑल द थ्री गेम्स वेर एज थर्टी टू परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स प्ले एटलीस्ट टू गेम्स सो वी हैव थ्री गेम्स फुटबॉल वॉलीबॉल एंड हॉकी सो फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट्स रिप्रेजेंट द गिवेन इंफॉर्मेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वेन डायग्राम देन वी कैन लुक एट सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन राइट लेट अस रिप्रेजेंट द गिवेन डेटा इन दिस वेन डायग्राम बिफोर वी रिप्रेजेंट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द गिवेन वेन डायग्राम दिस कंप्लीट पोर्शन इज फुटबॉल एंड दिस पोर्शन ओनली फुटबॉल this complete portion volleyball this portion only volleyball complete portion hockey this portion only hockey now students what is this portion students playing all the three games volleyball football hockey now what is this portion students who are playing both football and volleyball now tell me what is this portion this is football and volleyball this is only football and volleyball what is this volleyball and hockey these two portions this is only volleyball and hockey this is football and hockey these two portions this portion is only football and hockey after understanding this venn diagram now let us look at representing the given information in this venn diagram in a college abc all the students play at least one of the three games among football volleyball and hockey that means the students in the college should play any one of these three games at least one game means there may be students who be who will be playing only football there will be students who will be playing only volleyball only hockey both the games all the three games that means students who are not playing any game is zero because it is given at least one student will play all the games so students who are not playing any of these games is zero next 44% of the students play football 38% play volleyball and 52% play hockey here we do not have information about the total number of students in the college and everything is given in terms of percentage so students let us assume the total value mu is equal to 100x as we don't know the total number of students we are taking the total as 100x now 44% of the students play football how many are playing football 44% so 44% of 100 is 44 x are playing football then 38% of the students play volleyball 38% of 100 x that is 38 x play volleyball and 52% of the students play hockey that is 52 x next point number of students who play any two of the three games are equal students playing any two game that is students playing only football volleyball only football hockey and only volleyball hockey this portion number of students are equal we don't know number of students here let us take k here this will be k this will be k number of students playing any two games are equal so this is k this is k this is k then 36 students play all the three games all the three games is this portion number of students playing all the three games are 36 look at the last point students 32% of the students play at least to two games what do you understand by at least to two games at least to two games means two games are more than two games 
so at least two games is students playing minimum two games or more than two games at least two games is nothing but exactly two games plus all three games exactly two games is k plus k plus k 3k plus all three games is 36 this is equal to 32 percent of total students total students 100 x so 32 percentage is 32 x so let us take this as first equation so this is the given information as we don't know the total number of students we are taking total number of students as 100x and we have put down the data in the Venn diagram now if you before we solve these questions we need to know what are these what is the value of this k and we should also find out what is the value of this x now how many students are playing only football not given in the data let us assume this as a how many students are playing only volleyball not given let us take it as b number of students playing only hockey not given let us take it as c now see here students if we add all the students who are playing these games playing one game playing exactly two games plus playing all three games must be equal to 100 x let us add a plus b plus c students playing only one game only football only volleyball only hockey is a plus b plus c exactly two games k plus k plus k 3k plus all three games 36 is equal to 100 x let us take this as equation number two now if we add all the values in this circle it must be equal to total value of football that is 44 x let us add a k plus k 2k plus 36 so a plus 2k plus 36 is equal to 44 x total value of football similarly total value of volleyball b plus 2k plus 36 that is b plus 2k plus 36 must be equal to volleyball that is 38x total of hockey c plus k plus k 2k plus 36 so c plus 2k plus 36 is equal to 52x now see here students if i add these three a plus b plus c plus 2k plus 2k plus 2k is 6k plus 36 36 36 336 is 108 is equal to 134x let us take this as equation number 3 so if you add all this we'll get 134x now let us solve equation 3 and 2 3 minus 2 if I subtract equation 3 minus equation 2, a plus b plus c and a plus b plus c will get cancelled. 6k minus 3k, that is 3k, plus 108 minus 36, 72, is equal to 134x minus 100x, that is 34x. Let us take this as equation number 4. We need to find out x value. We need to find out k value then we should also find out a b c values then only we can solve the questions now let us solve equation 1 and equation 4 let us solve this equation 4 minus equation 1 3k 3k gets cancelled 72 minus 36 is 36 is equal to 34x minus 32x is 2x from this we will get x is equal to 18 we know x value is 18 substitute x value in this equation or in this equation we get k value is equal to 180 we have got x is equal to 18 substitute x value in equation 1 or equation 4 we will get k value is equal to 180 let us represent these values in the Venn diagram k value is 180 so this is 180 k value is 180 this is 180 
k value is 180, this is 180. Now, how much is total of football? 44 x. So, that is 44 into 18, this is 792. Then, this is 38 x. x value is 18. So, it is 684, 38 into 18. So, this is 52 into 18, 936. Now, we know k values, we know x value, so we know football value, total volleyball and total hockey. Now, let us put down a, b and c values. Let us find out a value. Now, the total value of this portion, that is football, 792. 180 plus 180, 360 plus 36, 396. So, 792 minus 396, so A value is equal to 396. Now, B value, 180, 180, 360 plus 36, 396. So, 684 minus 396, B value is 288. Now, let us find out C value, 180, 180, 36, this complete hockey value is 936. 360 plus 36, 396. 936 minus 396, C value is 540. Now that we have got all the values A, B, C, we know K value, we know X values. Now, substitute X value here, 100 into 18, total number of students are 1800. Now, let us look at solving the questions. Let us look at first question. How many students play only one of the three games. That means, students playing only football, 396, plus students playing only volleyball, 288, plus students playing only hockey, 540. We, all, we add all these three, we get total number of students playing only one of the three games is 1224. It is present in option 1. Next question. How many students play football? or volleyball that means we want students who play football that is complete this portion plus students who play volleyball that means the values you need to add is 396 plus 180 plus 288 plus 180 plus 180 plus 36 we need to add 1 2 3 4 5 6 values if we add all the 6 values we get students who play football or volleyball we can do that way. The easy method is, if we want students who play football and volleyball, that means we do not want students who play only hockey. What is the portion we do not, what is the portion where students play only hockey? This portion. How many students are playing only hockey? 540. So, total 1800 minus 540. That is, total number of students who play football or volleyball is 1260. Students. You add all these 6 values, the total will be 1260. The point here is, instead of adding all the 6 values, what we do is, we do not want students who are playing only hockey, we want football or volleyball. So, from total 1800, subtract 540, it should be 1260. Next question, what is the ratio of number of students who play exactly 2 of the 3 games to the number of students who play only hockey? Students who are playing exactly two games, this portion, 180, 180, 180, three 180s, 540 is to students who are playing only hockey, 540. So, 540 is to 540, ratio is 1 is to 1, it is present in first option. 